And welcome back, everyone, to the Refuge of the Painful Tide, where in the last episode we uh, expanded out our student roster quite significantly. We also added in some medical beds. We have now got a second, well, austere bedroom right now. We're hoping to make this into a dormitory. That's probably going to be one of the uh, first focuses that we have. But in addition to all of that, we unlocked the underschool. Now, the underschool is going to be a very important building for us, and we're going to be spending at least part of the day today going down there and getting up to all kinds of sh shenanigans now we're gonna need some more viseria uh, and also some worm weed pods which we really don't have many of right now so let's uh, go ahead and select first all of the things to be hunted and then worm weed pods let's go ahead and harvest you now, we've not got any more research selected, and I uh, don't really think there's going to be anything that we're going for right now. Uh, though, that being said, uh, we did go down this route. We've got classroom stuff, and we may as well go over here and unlock the Lightning 2 wand. So that'll be our first Tier 2 wand. There, As far as I am aware, there are uh, three tiers of wands, but if you're particularly lucky, you can get a uh, student up to like uh, eight or even more in a sp in their wand skill, but it all comes down to the sort of uh, talents that they uh, they pick up, so that one might be a little bit more awkward for us to do. Uh, there is a crow, uh, oh, that's a crow corpse. Oh, uh, destroy the corpse. If we're not going to do anything with it, please go and destroy it, like actually right now, because we don't want a spectral crow popping out of it. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure that crow corpse is a level 5 destroy. Okay, so we just unlocked a bunch of stuff for our uh, classroom, and that is, seems like a reasonable thing for us to uh, start investing in. If we have a look over here under classrooms, the first classroom is basic classroom, which we have right now. It's just one learning stone. Intermediate classroom, though, needs one or more bookshelf and one or more, or sorry, or one or more large bookshelf because it must have one of these things. Okay, well, uh, it's going to be very easy for us to do. Well, I assume it will be anyway. Uh, furniture, let's have a gander. Yeah, bookshelf, fairly simple one to add in. We're just going to tuck that around on this side. I'm not, I'm not sure if we can store anything in there, but uh, let's just pop it about there. That should do. Hopefully, when that's set up, it'll be a uh, proper, nicely lit bedroom. Uh, we're also going to need a bunch more wood, I'm going to say, so let's uh, chop down these trees. Right, okay, so people are going to have a lot of tasks to do. Now, if we have a look on our schedule, our uh, uh, students are currently doing a little bit of morning chores, and then they're going to be cracking on with studies, and uh, our staff are also going to be cracking on with studies. I don't really want to go down here. Well, actually, you know what? This is, might be an opportunity for us to test. If we go into... The underschool, actually, let's uh, double check. We've got delving deeper may have consequences. Lava mine, nah, let's go to a fungal cavern. That sounds a lot less nasty than a lava mine. Uh, Air three, lightning three. So everyone here is actually the same strength as it stands. And they don't really gain any, as far as I'm aware, any magical experience from uh, doing these. Uh, so it doesn't really matter to take the, uh, the folks who haven't got... Uh, full skills yet unless they need to get some killing and actually phoenix alia did mm. i should have taken phoenix alia then given that but uh, we'll just have to hold tight on that one they've got a water wand it will be a useful one to bring out but i would want them to have at least level two in it before then uh, can we fit in another medical bed no that one's going to be a uh, no for us for now let's see if i can find some ice flowers and harvest those as well right there we go Let's see what we've got. Starting off with a bit of a battle here. What the heck are we fighting? Okay, I see 170 and it scares me. We've got a Lantern Keeper over here. Attacks the strongest enemy and applies minus 10 power to the target and plus 10 to a random ally. They seem to be in the back row, but uh, actually though they're probably both in the front row. And then a Drowned One. Attacks an enemy and inflicts Fearful One when it damages an enemy. Okay, which gives lowered field uh, fee uh, speed. Will be afflicted with Terrified at three stacks. Uh, what's terrified? The character is slowed outside of battle. Cure with a cure terror ritual at the me medical bed. Oh. Okay, then we very much want to try and avoid this. We do now have access to the Shield of Wind, though. Shield of Wind. Who is the... St How do you measure strongest? Would that be Encrypt? And Encrypt is not going to get a turn for a little while. So, Shield of Wind. Adds one shield to the enemy. It prevents all damage from the next time a mage is attacked in battle. You know what? Let's just uh, see how this works. Oh, there we go. 
And there we go. Nice. All right. So we avoided any damage there. Let's get vengeance because I'm not going to be able to avoid this one coming. They have been boosted, though. Uh, nice reversal there. Have we been... We have got fearful, but we haven't had the affliction of minus 10 power, I don't believe. Well, at the very least, it doesn't show that to me, so we'll just have to assume that that's not the case. Right, uh, let's start hitting the Lantern Keeper. There we go. And now it's for you. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, no. We haven't lost any power. That's very nice. All right, let's get some Earth Armor there. This should start forcing people to attack one place. And while that's going down, we're just going to start attacking you as well. And that was actually very nice. We got some uh, good attacks there. How much damage do you do? Yeah, that'll still be absorbed. But let me just have a look at that. Uh, attacks an, oh, that's attacks an enemy three times. You've actually upgraded to multi-strike two now because you're a level three air wand. Very nice indeed. All right, well, let's continue whittling through you. Oh, nice crit there. I approve. There we are. And the armor seems to be avoiding the uh, stacking more fearful, which is very, very nice in, uh, as well. Uh, we could just take you out, so we might as well. This is going to give everyone access to the Lantern Keeper. There is something to be said about just focusing down the front row, but... Uh, Spreading out the damage a little bit does seem to uh, be helpful, and this will finish the fight. There we go. I actually really like the, the look of the uh, models for the enemies in here. We've got 20, 20 sinew! My goodness, that's a lot. Alright, greatly approved. Uh, under school chamber, zero luxury, underground grounded, gremlins and ooze do not spawn down here, which is uh, very nice to see. What are gremlins? Can I bring that up? No, I cannot. Okay, fair enough. Uh, now, with that, uh, we might actually be able to head on into another attack straight away if we really want to do. I don't think we do. I think we. Uh, I want to let people get some time to get some work done as well around the place. How are you doing over here? Uh, we have got almost everything we need. We need some more ectoplasm. We need some more viscera. But things are otherwise doing okay. We've got all of the bitter gruel, the carcassy. You know what? I would like to increase that a little bit. Let's get some more. Now, the other thing is that, obviously, we do have a little bit of a problem over here. Uh, I'm going to want everything to be chopped, everything to be harvested. And these three... Can I select? Oh, that's fantastic. I can actually just destroy them just to get them out of here. I would very much like to be able to get my plants moved and my grave moved as well since we don't really need the grave out out here i think uh, we can just move that inside if we uh, want to At the very least if i just pop the uh, rebuild these over here that should be uh, a big help for us so let's start about there one two and eventually three i suppose as soon as we get that opportunity now, how much wood have we got? I haven't got really uh, nearly enough, frankly. I, I do really want a lot more than this. Uh, we also want more wormwood pods, and if we can get those in, then we should be okay to do another big push on the fog. Get that nice and far away from us, which should make our peeps a lot happier with uh, being around in this area overall. Now, the thing that we have going on over here, Aquatami and Plumber Smack have nothing more to learn. Literally nothing more to learn. And these things, I can assume, have a limited amount of people around them. So all that they are here for now is they're waiting for us to either hire them or to graduate them. Uh, we could graduate Plumber Smack with honors or hire them. And having a, uh, a an air mage would not be a problem. Even Aquatami wouldn't be a problem to have a second lightning mage. Uh, especially one that has managed to get more of their medallions. A uh, second lightning mage will be useful for us later. Uh, as I believe as you uh, continue to expand out, you start needing more uh, exactly here two staff would need lightning skill of three or more in order to summon a gifted student we're far from being able to do that right now but having some uh, having the the right spread <coughs> of skills to be able to do it would be quite nice however because we have people over here who get nothing out of learning anymore let's go ahead and change this up a little bit let's add a new group let's say um 
fully trained. I think that will be perfect for what we need. And now I need to go for uh, skill capped. And I want... If everything is capped, and I also want to specify that I only want students in here. this, so let's find student. There we go. We've now got a group that isolates to students who have nothing left to learn. And with that, let's add in a custom schedule that will target the fully trained. There we go. And at this point, we just don't need any of this. Um, do I still want them to sleep at the same time as other students? Uh, now that we've got multiple rooms, actually doesn't matter. We could move this around a little bit more and uh, maybe have everyone sleep at the same time. But uh, this seems reasonable for now. Uh, they can have a very... Look, okay. <laughs> the unpaid interns. Uh... Let's move their eating schedule around, though. Make sure they, they have the same sort of eating schedule as their peers. Uh, that way they can kind of uh, hang out and socialize a little bit. We probably should get somewhere that will be able to help out with their conviction in the, the face of recreation. We'll see about that one when we get the time. But uh, this should at least mean that our students who have nothing to gain from showing up to class and thus won't cause a teacher to show up, because this will only show up if they are students waiting to be taught, uh, that should help out a little bit there. And we'll also pop charging at a nice high priority for them as well. There you go. You can uh, crack on. And they're off. They're off to do other bits and bobs. Uh, Phoenix Salia, you're not far off getting maxed skills, but uh, for the time being, you've got other things to do. This is going to be amazing for helping get everything brought in that we want brought in. Right, garden is still going up. Still need that to be destroyed, actually. Let's uh, pop that on a nice high priority so that hopefully, there we go, our chief destroyer showed up to take care of it. Marvellous. Right, let's pop that down. And then I would very much like some bitter rice to be planted right beside them. And we are then going to uh, disintegrate these. Now, disintegrating sounds extremely nasty, but it just means that we're going to get everything back from it. It's effectively just destroying a structure. New intermediate classroom. Perfect. And we have got uh, quite visionary, the lighting. This is going to give 100% learning rate. That's a big upgrade, and uh, it does look a little bit more swanky too, I must say. I, I love the changes in the... Uh, in the uh, visuals of each room. That's, that's really cool, in my opinion. Now, let's get rid of this cot. Uh, we are going to disintegrate all of these. Let's get rid of them. We'll get all the mat materials back, and then I am going to... Oh, of course, I'm going to need... Yeah, all right, then. Fair enough, this is uh, why we need to allow all staff through, I suppose, because they're the ones that do jobs like disintegrating and building. Uh, it's easy enough, I guess, for me to uh, just allow them to uh, come in there. Uh, sorry, to uh, control who can use these beds based on access privileges. Uh, we'll do that one instead. Right, let's grab a plain bed, and we'll pop one down there. And then as soon as this is built, I will change its access privileges, and then I will copy that one out. Uh, we also want a another copy there. And I want to move the Founder's Grave. Let's move the Founder's Grave. Uh, let's have you uh, back over here somewhere. That would be nice. There we are. These will all be outside then. Nice and visible. Right, I want to get the smoke sticks where we can. Let's go ahead and add those onto the list. Uh, where are we? don't want the seeds. We don't want the uh, plant, plant parts. Where are the plants? There we are. Uh, smoke weed. There we go. And let's grab those as quickly as we possibly... Oh, oh dear, you've locked yourself in. That, uh... Look, it's going to happen a lot, all right? They have at least some duplicate DNA. But hopefully we can get that all sorted fairly quickly. This still isn't bright enough. Wow. Okay, it's only... F <laughs> We're just shy of what we need as well. That's a little bit vexing, but oh well. Uh, let's have a gander then. We've got the Solemn Brazier, but I don't think we're going to go with that. I think we're just going to go with a, another torch, which we'll just stick down there. And it'll kind of look cool, I think. Right then, with all of that done, we definitely need a ritual room. So let's have a look at where we can use to hire and fire and also graduate our students. That would be the assembly hall. One or more ritual sigil, and it needs seven or greater luxury. An auditorium needs one or more ritual signal, uh, sigil, two or more solemn braziers, 
35 or greater luxury and needs to be grounded. Dear Lord, that's, you're asking quite a lot with that one, I'm going to be honest. Uh, all right. How are we going to manage that one then? I guess we could have it down here. Uh, I would need to move the wand workshop elsewhere, but uh, is it possible that I could move that over here perhaps? Um, maybe I just have that tucked in there. That might work for us. Or have it tucked on that side. I think maybe having it tucked on that side would be better. Because there won't be a uh, torch there. We'd lose the scullery, though. Um, and I kind of like having the scullery get, giving us a bonus. A kitchen is going to require things that we don't yet have. So we're going to be a little ways... Oh, this needs to be grounded, too. I mean, the workshop is uh, the option that we need to be uh, higher up. Um... That being said, could I possibly make this work for an auditorium? Let's have a look. How big is the is the ritual uh, sigil? It's quite large. Um, we might be able to make this work. I'm willing to give it a shot at the very least. Uh, we can we can definitely try it out and see what we can we can do. Right, this is now an austere bedroom once again. That's fine. I want to change the. Uh, access here to only students and now i'm going to build a copy with the same settings also you can go away there we are uh build copy with the same settings one two and then can i get the last one in press t to change the angle there we are perfect and that will be our dormitory for the uh for our students now that being said we need to also pop in a conservatory. Now this needs skewed private. So we would probably want it over on this side, I'm thinking. We could possibly do a little bit of something something. Let's see how much we can build out this floor. If we were to bring it from there out, we could have it this far out. Hmm. If I were to do that. And if I were willing to move this, let's do this. I would have to tuck it against this wall, but it might, might work. We may be able to make this work. We're going to have stairs going down from in here. Because, come on, I, I just want to make a wonky-looking school. This, <laughs> this is all I've ever wanted. Uh, right. From there all the way down, that'll connect up. That should connect up. And then we will have... A quite wonky school because uh, we need. Ooh, I need that to be three blocks taller. So let's just take this up a little bit more. We only need it to go up one more. Uh, I would need to redo the entire uh, roof though, I think. So I may as well push it up just a tad further than that. So let's just uh, grab a, another wall section, just pop that there because we need it to be skewed. Uh, there we are. Then we can have a very interesting looking uh, looking little rec room just hanging off the side of the building. And nothing says Mage Tower like impossible geometry. Uh, though really for that we're going to need some sort of Escher-like staircase network. But we'll work up to it, okay? We've got to start small. Right, that's looking okay. Let's make sure that that's in the right spot. There we are. Oh, class is beginning apparently. Let's uh, get you over there. It's <laughs> not much of a class right now. I do apologize, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, hopefully this will go through that wall in a moment and we'll all line up properly. Uh, we don't yet have the necessary resources there. Are we still collecting wormweed? Let's go and harvest that as well, please and thank you. Is this a dormitory? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Look at that beautiful wallpaper in there. Very swish. Now... Are we going to be able to do this one? Stairs are unreachable. Hmm. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Maybe I need the stairs to start deeper in then. Okay, let's uh, let's try and finagle this a little bit more, and instead build the stairs from this tile. Hmm. No, it really doesn't want to go there, does it? Okay, let's uh, cancel the disintegration. I might need to remove some of the walls here, then. Let's see what we can do. Ultimately, I want this stair to lead up. Oh, 
hopefully they can build this. No? Maybe? Possibly? Let's see if you can make that happen for me. Maybe just need to build in a certain certain way. Yeah, there we go. So we want to be three high. One, two, three. That should be good enough. And then we can get our roof back and then recreate this room. There we go. We just connect up to that point. Let's have this be a little bit of a lower roof, I think. And then a roof down here as well, going up. Uh, that is a little bit too much of a uh, of a slope. Uh, something like that will do. Sure. Confirm. There we are. All right, we're about to complete two rooms in one go, and I'm extremely happy about that, actually. There we are. Okay, everything is working well so far. Next thing we're going to want to do, though... Ooh, we've got the large rectangular window. We need frost glass and void cap. Where on earth am I going to get frost glass from? Light plus 200 sun or moon. Now, this is the interesting thing. 125 sun. I do believe it may be possible for us to have internal spaces where we have more sun than would be out. <laughs> Don't ask me how. Just shh. I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to give a growth bonus or, or what. I, we'll have to have a look at that. But I, at the very least, we should be able to make a uh, sufficient greenhouse area. Right. We want to set up our ritual room. So ritual rooms are going to require one or more ritual sigil, two or more solemn braziers, or two or... Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, 35 great or greater luxury. All right. Well, let's have a look at ritual... Uh, solemn braziers here. Uh, let's have these tucked against the wall, like so. We'll see what that does. We're going to have to take these down, though. Uh, they can be disintegrated because we do not want them pulling the luxury down, which is exactly what they're doing right now. Uh, do I have a luxury view? Pathing, support, room. Oh, I can see the room has got minus one luxury, so let's get rid of these. It's now got one luxury. Got three luxury now. Wow, okay. Where did they get that from? Uh, don't tell me Viscera gives luxury when it's just on the floor. The mages are weird. Uh, there we go. That's in play. Uh, it's it's the uh, it's probably the Solemn Braziers, actually, if we have a look. No, it doesn't give luxury. Interesting. Uh, these rooms are all well lit again. This is once again a, uh, a intermediate classroom, which I'm very happy about. Right, this is now very well lit. It's a 130% lit. Very nice indeed. We've got some rugs. Um, could we just plop these down? Like, how small is that? They're both the same size, so could have one over there. Could have this one over here. That's not going to give us anywhere near the luxury we need. But this will hopefully, at the very least, be a basic uh, ritual room that will be useful for now. Right, for the rec room, we're going to need uh, conservatory. We're just going to need skewed, private. We've got elevated, lofted, skewed, and private. Wow, so many different effects. Uh, and we just need, oh my lord, 25 or greater luxury? What is with all the luxury requirements going on right now? Uh, the least, uh, the very least, getting decent luxury with candelabra should be a possibility for us in here. And also, we are going to want recreation. Ah, lots of wood. Uh, well, okay, well, let's just make sure the, the chopping of the wood is happening a little bit faster. Let's select these, make those a high priority for us. There we are. And hopefully, we can get all of this done. And our other two our students are still working at learning. Uh, let's have a look. You need rested learning? Uh, I mean, are you not rested right now? Ma oh, you were mana drained. By, by what and when? Where, why and whom? Hmm. That's not great. Will sleep if sched uh, is scheduled? Uh, you, need, you need to, I think, have... We no longer need them to be split up like this, so we can afford for peeps to have their work schedules kind of switched around a little bit more again. Uh, that shouldn't be a big issue for us any anymore. Uh, let's make sure that the staff eat at a different time, though, uh, just so that it's kind of offset a little bit. In fact, we're going to pull this down a little bit more so it's even more offset there. Uh, that should be okay. I think I'm all, all right. Well, I could even just give them all-day class. 
There we are. Just learn all the way through the day. If you can, go ahead and do it. I, I would like to give them a break, and as soon as we've got the rec room up and running, then I will. I'll give them a little bit of recreation in there, so it'll uh, hopefully help out a wee bit. We will see, though. Uh, furthermore, we want another chest over here, I'm thinking, and then possibly just line them up down here. Either that, or maybe just have uh, one or two at the back there. Or, alternatively, we could have some more. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and just... Well, okay. Maybe not. Uh, have another one over there as well. Just a, there's a bit of symmetry there. I know symmetry in this game, considering what else I'm doing. Kind of wild idea, but nevertheless, I fancy it. All right, how's everything going? Good. We're bringing in loads more stuff now. That is that is really, really helping at this point. I'm very happy to see all of this. Aquatami, where is your medallions at? Yeah, the banner lantern's going to take a while because I think we're going to need a resource I haven't even seen yet to build them. Uh, so that's probably going to be holding out for a bit. Let's have a look at you. Are you, are you okay? You are generally still all right with uh, purposeful conviction, which I'm somewhat happy about. Uh, is that all still set up? Good. Yes, it is. All right, we're probably going to head down into the uh, into the underschool shortly, but for the time being, let's see if they can't get these candelabras set up. Make sure that we're not going to get any voyage rooms spawning, mana draining our peeps, and making them unhappy with them. Oh, really? That must be, like, what, 90% done or something? Wow. You scallywags. Now, ev everyone is snoozing all at the same time, but I suppose that isn't too bad. Uh, one, uh, I was going to say, I'm a little bit surprised it hasn't gone into, like, ultra speed, but then why would it? We've got Heather. Heather's just going to keep m gathering all of the things overnight. Uh, all right, well, I, I suppose uh, there's nothing else for you to do, I, I, I guess. Uh, what would we like to go for next? Let's just have a plan of action in regards to our um, expansion out. I think... Uh, uh, yeah, let's get the Wormweed Planter, and we're going to go down the route of building out supports and getting domesticated plants that we can then build inside. Uh, we will build a fairly extensive uh, greenhouse, I'm thinking. I think that would actually be perfect for us. How are we doing on st uh, wood? Wood is now actually looking all right. How about stone? Do we have much in the way of stone? Hopefully we do. Stone outcrop. Let's get all eight of those being mined. And we're also going to go for the large stone outcrops as well. Get those being mined as well, please and indeed. Thank you. All right. It is coming up to the point where peeps are going to wake up. And a couple of folks are going to have some classes. And we're going to be doing a bunch of gathering. I will bring you back, though, when we're ready to jump down into the underschool or castle ritual, which will probably be fairly early. Okay, we're getting the uh, fog suppression ritual underway. The beautiful thing about this is that we actually don't need to have Manu involved because we've got enough staff to take care of it otherwise. But now we've got some foggy crystals, I imagine. Let's have a look at the minerals. Uh, okay, we've got a dull crystal over here. Let's go ahead and mine this. Might get an occult small rug, calming small rug, or a visionary small rug. Uh, the foggy crystal, we've got quite a few foggy crystals. Uh, let's get all of them mined right away. There we are. And those are the only ones that we really have to play around with. But look at this. We've just uh, leveled out the remaining uh, students. They are all now in the uh, the fully trained group. I've moved the fully trained group sleeping, just kind of offset a little bit. Just so that uh, we do have people getting out there and, and gathering things up here and there as uh, as they are able to. Uh, so that should help out a little bit. But uh, we definitely need to get this all set up. What have we got? It is an assembly hall. So we're going to need to increase the uh, luxury of this room significantly. Uh, 35 or greater, my lord. Uh, this one has 10 luxury. That's a lot closer to what we should be able to get. Uh, I love the fact that you can get house commons eventually, and it's like, yeah, they have to sleep, dine, and recreate in this room. Perfect. Reminds me of school. Uh, two or more enchanted, uh, sorry, two or more enchanted phones, and we just need to bump the luxury by another 
15. Not a, an easy task, certainly, but it's something that we can definitely aim for. Uh, let's get this enchant phone there and this enchant phone over here and we will hopefully get a few more rugs in there as well to help out but this will allow peeps to do a little bit of uh, recreation i'm going to allow my staff to have some recreation there students have some recreation there and honestly the fully trained can have a decent amount of recreation because it's the only thing they've got going for them at that point other than just work and it's not even particularly useful work for the most part so they're going to feel very bored right let's go down into the cavern i think everyone is more or less set up you have gone now uh, felix Leah can come down for the water uh, I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to swap out Plumber Smack for Phoenix Talia. We could bring High Kaiser. Um, you know what? Sure. Let's go ahead. Everyone is about the same level of skill at this point, so it seems like a reasonable one to do. Go ahead and charge up your batteries and get down there. We need those scrolls rather sharpish. All right, what are we facing? We've got another... Oh, damn it. We've got a drowned one right at the back. Okay. Uh, right, you're going to just attack whomever you particularly want to. But we've got Torrent down here. Is that one of our water spells? Uh, deals 20 damage when attacking from the back. So this is actually quite a lot of power. This is 40 power, all told. Uh, or I can Soak, which will drop an enemy's speed and attack by 7. Uh, you're already back there. Uh, but dropping down your overall power wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Uh, but you're going to allow us to take this one possibly out before it gets an attack this round. So sure, let's go ahead. You're one of our heavy hitters right now. I will pop Vengeance in the front row because they are more than likely going to hit the front row first. Now we've got Surging Strength, which gives 10 extra power, so all of our attacks will be that much better. Or I can use Growth 2 which applies thorns, deals 10 damage to the combatant in this slot at the end of the round or when leaving the slot. I can't get it at the back, though. Uh, so I think we're just going to go with Surging Strength. There we go. And that will bounce back. There we are. Now, I could use Earth Armor, um, and I think I will, so these two will definitely go for you. There we are. Pop and pop not too bad at all so another torrent we should be through you honestly you'll kill yourself uh well no you're not quite in the point where you'd kill yourself just from attacking but i'm gonna get another surging strength on the back row so that uh, the next torrent is going to be even more powerful but that has given our fireball oh, okay well that fireball was kind of crazy regardless but that gave our fireball enough uh, oomph to be able to punch through over the 25 that would have been there otherwise let's get earth armor going again though let's try our best to keep our health up. Manu's is dropping a little bit faster than I would like, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, let's get... Uh, we'll go just for growth 2 at this point. It's just going to be all down to just doing damage now. And fireball as well. That removes another particular problem. You should go for encrypt thanks to the armor. And now encrypt can finally start attacking. But is there really any point? Let's instead keep tanking up the armor because you can just keep increasing armor which is actually kind of amazing uh there we go this fight should should be over relatively quickly at this point thanks to the amount of damage that we can field and right, let's get a fireball over there as well you're going to take extra damage from just everything that's going on there and you're also going to smack yourself and we'll start applying this at this point we've got enough armor now to just uh, tank everything that's coming our way that torrent too is such a cheap spell for the amount of damage it does. My lord. Oh, we've got some void caps. Fantastic. And some ectoplasm and two more arcane scrolls. Now we've got an underscore chamber. Minus 15 luxury. Oh, well. Um, that isn't so great. Uh, maybe we could make that a nice place though. I, I have no idea. Uh, hopefully, as they yeah, as they pick things up, we might be able to turn that into a uh, nicer place for them to go. We'll, we will have to see. All right, I haven't got any more shrinks, so I think it's going to be a case of just adding in anything which would give us luxury right now, which would probably be the candelabra. Um, let's see, is there anything else we've got that might be able to add that? Actually, yes, stone and ice petals. Uh, okay, let's pop this one here and there. That'll give us ten. We just need a little bit more beside. Uh, I could just 
tuck these back here, I suppose. As long as they've got free movement around, but I think if I just popped it over there, it would be even better. I, I don't know. Uh, let's go for symmetry. Sure. It, we're making a mockery of symmetry. Symmetry in a place like this? Nah. Right, well, we've got our assembly hall, so I think it's time that we either hire or fire some of our students. Plumber Smack is ready to go. Uh, we could get our Air Wand user to join us. Aquatami has a little bit more to do. We might be able to get Aquatami up to the point that they have everything they need. So I think we will hold out on that one. Plumber Smack, though, it's time for you to join us, if you would be so kind. Uh, we're going to need... Oh. We need six adept scrolls, so I, I absolutely need to graduate someone first. <sighs> okay, well, that's kind of annoying, if I uh, must confess, because realistically the best person to graduate would be Plumber's Mac. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I was saying that we kind of want two lightning uh, users, especially because more or less whenever we're researching, one of them is just tied up. All right, so let's have a, a look at how graduation would work. I would love to graduate with all honors, but we'd need an auditorium for that. Hmm, it might be worth going for it, because Plumber Smack does have the p potential to be graduating with honors. So if we were to graduate, and you can graduate quite a few people at the same time, if we graduate Aquatami right now, we'd only get eight Adept Scrolls. Plumber Smack right now, we'd only get nine Adept Scrolls. Let's see what an honor graduation would be like. Let's see if I can uh, gather up the materials needed for this one. Hooray! They are using their conservatory. Look at them go. Ah. Gloriousness. Right, okay, so they should no longer be starved for, uh, for entertainment. They are now relaxed, which is very, very nice. They are hungry, though, which is less great. Uh, hopefully they will go and grab themselves a bite to eat. Let's have a look. Yeah, they should be grabbing a bite to eat at this point. Uh, maybe I'll give them a slightly larger... Um, eating window. Sure, let's give him a slightly bigger eating window there. And the same over here. Alright, there we go. Now, we've got a fairly uh, uh, busy schedule of recreation, which does mean that sometimes they're not going to have the opportunity to, So, but I'm hopeful that people will stop having recreation when they no longer need it. That being said, maybe I should just kind of alternate these ones around a little bit something like that would do and maybe give uh, staff a little bit more recreation maybe the end of the night that would work out but the double food slots will hopefully allow everyone to eat who needs to eat we will see if that works out it'll give them time to get back from whatever they're doing and grab a meal for example but now that we've got that extra arcane scroll let's go ahead and get our next bit of research so we're going to be unlocking some more things that we can grow and also supports which are going to drastically open up up our ability to expand our school outwards uh, but even uh, though that being said maybe I just want to keep focusing on growing it upwards if I'm perfectly honest uh, we are going to need some more Phoenix uh, plants so let's go for the Phoenix kiss grab those and where is the nearest iron I would very much like the metal deposit to be uh, to be gathered as well let's uh, take out all of the diorat as well if possible right do we have enough to build more storages we do marvelous let's uh, pop that one over there and we could even have perhaps a uh, nice brazier in here rather than all of these lamps on the walls because one brazier would take out the need for having two lamps and i kind of like that idea so uh, we're gonna need the phoenix flowers for it though but uh sure let's uh disintegrate these Get rid of those, and then we're going to have a brazier in the middle, and then everything will kind of make sense in its placement. Let's also get the uh, smoke weed, though. There we are. Right, okay, not too bad. Doesn't look like anyone needs any healing, so we should be good. So just go ahead and jump into the next... Oh, they're disengaged. Minus 20 on their uh, conviction. That is something we're going to want to fix sooner rather than later if we possibly can uh so it's realistically a case of either expanding this out and uh, do i have the means to do it? i could put candelabras in there uh, to be honest uh, maybe I should. Uh, candelabra here, candelabra there, but we're going to want to really fill this out with the, not the solemn braziers, we want the solemn pedestals. And uh, we can have one there. 
one here. I could possibly just fill out the, the back area there. But I'm it's going to be a bit of a push. going to be a bit of a push. We might be able to get a little bit more going on down here if we're very, very lucky, though. Right, given that, let's go ahead and send out our team once again. We definitely want to bring Phoenix to Leah with us, but uh, I wasn't super enamored with the nature one there. I think Plumber Smack would be better because they do so much damage. And let's uh, get into the fight then. Let's get you out there. Hopefully we can get all of this set up. I mean, we don't, strictly speaking, I guess those aren't the best thing for us to build. These would be. Mm, we'll have to see what we can do with them. Uh, how are we doing for our containers? Are they all full? They are all full. Well, that's not ideal. We need some more places to add containers. Oh my god, okay. That's quite a lot of upfront damage. I'm very much un okay with. Uh, right. Well. Let's see. Okay, well, let's just throw this in there. I'm starting to, to feel like I made the possibly the, the wrong call there. I wonder why you had so much more damage last time. Uh, I'm going to soak this one because I'm not going to be able to reduce the amount of incoming down, so I, I need to uh, mit uh, to debuff them a little bit to try and help. There we go. So we're starting to get some of the negative effects here. But as long as we can keep popping in Earth Armor, we should be alright. There we go. Uh, I could pop down Shield of Wind, but I don't think there's a point to it. Let's just try and focus this one down now. Oh, actually, no, 23 was the damage they were doing before. My bad. Uh, it feels like a bit much, but honestly, it's it's the, one of the cheaper spells I've got, so me as well. There we are, and now we can start working on the other one. And a fireball, please. Nice crit. Very much appreciated. Let's top up your armor, because it did go down a little bit. Yeah. Now, because of the uh, soaked status, you were a lot slower there. And you're practically going to be dead with this. And torrent to finish you off. But we are getting low on our mana here. Right, fireball again. You've only got a little bit of health. You're not going to survive this for very long. And because you're still at full health, your uh, smash does 35 damage rather than uh, the usual 25 that we see. Though I'm really unhappy that man keeps taking so many hits. I guess that's what we yeah, get for putting mana in the front, I, I suppose. Right, there we go. Some more void. Oh, a mana crit and 10 arcing scrolls. Wow, that was a lot. Okay. Uh, that was quite amazing, actually. Uh, this was still only minus 5 luxury because of that, but uh, that is that is huge. We can build a mana lamp. Okay, so what is a mana lamp, you might be asking yourself. Uh, well, it is effectively... The, the same as our mana font, only uh, it only recharges mana. So we're going to build one up here near to the, uh, the the training room. And I can just tuck that in there, perhaps. Uh, or I can have it right at the back, maybe. Uh, you know what? I can just get rid of the brazier, thinking about it. So let's, uh, let's disintegrate that brazier, and I'll put the mana lamp in there. The mana lamp, the lantern gives 150 light based on moon, which is going to be quite amazing. I could put it down there, I guess, but I don't really think that's, uh, that's what we want for that one. It's actually starting to look quite nice. I, I quite like the uh, the very, uh, the, the, the kind of tapering down to a very thin neck. And if we continue building up, it'll look like a chalice or maybe a wine flute. Uh, there we are. Champagne flute, rather. Wine glass. Uh, there we go. Right. Well, given that, I think we are going to cancel the candelabras and instead focus on getting the solemn pedestals down here. Let's pop another solemn pedestal and let's get all of those sol solemn pedestals up to a 5. That's going to give us a whomping 15 there, which is going to be very, very nice indeed. Uh, we do need some medical rest, but not a lot. When we go into the next fungal cavern. I wish you knew what you were going to face. That would be fantastically useful information, I feel. There we are, again, those built now. All right, so what luxury are we up to? And we're going to need 35. Uh, going to be a little bit of a little bit of a push, but we'll see what we can do.
Now, with everything going on, I haven't actually stopped to start putting some of our research into use, and that is a Lightning Wand 2. Uh, this is going to require Honey Drop and Potions of Recharging, so it's... We're going to need the Alchemist before we can actually get down to that. But we did pick up a huge amount of Arcane Scrolls, so that shouldn't be too bad for our research for the next little while. We'll continue down the, the support all the way down. Um, though that being said, do we really need to? Maybe, perhaps we uh, don't, in fact. Uh, let's have a look for the Alchemist. So, Boil and Bubble. We can unlock the Alchemist station, and we're going to need to get down to... The Revival Flask, the Potion of Recharging, and the Recipe uh, for a Bravery Potion. Now, if we can get down there, uh, we'll also need to branch off to get Domesticated Phoenix Kiss Planter, Ice Flower Planter, and Smoke Reed Planter. Those are going to be super important for us. But, sure, let's, uh, let's head on down then and pick that up. And all the way down to pick-me-ups. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of a bother for us. Hopefully we'll be able to get that on the on the march very, very soon. Let's have a look at what the uh, luxury is. We're up to 17 luxury, and uh, very soon to be 22. We just need a few more of these solemn, bre uh, solemn la uh, pedestals, and we're good. So that means more ice petals, though. Oh, good lord, we finally got it to the auditorium. It looks awful the amount of just random things just slotted in there though the walls are bloody amazing i must say all uh, right okay finally we can graduate with honors plumber spec I, look, I i'm very sad to see you go mate but it is what it is like if we pop you in there we're gonna get 17 adept scrolls rather than a mere eight that uh, we would have gotten before. All right, bittersweet feelings. Uh, that's going to give you plus 10 conviction, but minus recreation. Attending a going away ritual and going through some complicated emotions. That's actually incredibly, incredibly sad. But begin the, the ritual. Let's uh, get that going. Right, Phoenix, how are we doing over here? We have actually managed to get that one, so extra damage added to attack spells. Very, very nice indeed. Let's uh, actually see what your... Uh, power is is it now up to uh, 15 which is quite nice but we are a million miles away from getting any of your other uh, items just yet uh, I'm kind of surprised that well actually we're not gonna be able to do this one anymore no you're not gonna be able to get that one uh, so we might actually just want to let Phoenix Delia go at this point sad to say uh, go two days without getting craving recreation. I mean, that one shouldn't actually be too too rough for, you, for us to have for you. Let's have a look. Okay, your recreation is, in fact, dropping relatively fast. Let's see where we are in the general scheme of things. Maybe I should make sure that, honestly, once once you get to this point, you just, you just live the high life. Uh, <laughs> maybe that is a way for us to sort that out. Though, uh, another way of doing it would be to actually create... A specific, um, a specific uh, group for people with things like craving recreation, where it's just more or less all recreation all of the time. That that sort of thing might not be a bad choice. But we finally do have the ability to hire someone. My goodness, that was uh, a little while coming. Now, Aquatami, if we have a look, we now do have the mana, uh, sort of the mana lantern. I think what we're going to do with Aquatami is we're going to give you an incredibly high, like, emergency level priority to recharge this. And every time we can, I'm going to directly send you over there to do it. Refill the Mana Lantern. If we can do that before we hire you, that's going to be amazing. Uh, and you only need to refill it three times, because that'll give you an extra death save. So with that one done, we should have a look now. Yeah, one of three. So I just need to see that lantern run down a little bit. Okay, Phoenix Alea, you have been super useful, but I'm just never going to be able to satisfy one of your requirements. So we're just going to graduate you normally because we can't do it with honors there, unfortunately. So Phoenix Alea, let's say goodbye to you. Do we want to keep High Kaiser around? I'll well, actually let me have a quick look. High Kaiser, what do you require? Going to need to deal with the Burrow of Lava. I don't even know what that's going to involve. Um, but you also want to charge the Lantern. And Dancing Queen should actually be an easy one to get. We can certainly get you a little bit higher and maybe hire you in a bit. 
But uh, let's go ahead and graduate you then. Heather can say goodbye to you. Uh, goodbye, Phoenix Ali. We're only going to get seven scrolls here, but that isn't the worst one there. And with all of that going down, we can then look to bring in some new students, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Superior Repel Fog. Uh, this one isn't going to be too too rough of one. Uh, it's kind of got nine days out, so we could push it back a decent amount, I should imagine. Uh, but uh, we can we can let it encroach a little bit more, I think, uh, before we really need to, to worry about it over much. I've added in a bunch more chests, so we should have a lot more storage capacity at this point. And it does look like our teachers are up and around, so let's go ahead and summon in some new students. Now, what ones do we have to offer? Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to pick up another air wand. <laughs> I feel so bad about having to say goodbye to Plums Mac. Uh, I very much would have actually liked someone who was good at assembling things, but oh well. Uh, Heather, no, we're going to have Manu say hello. So there we go, Manu. You go ahead and uh, say hi. Actually, Manu, in terms of your abilities for, uh, for teaching, I don't think you're the best person for it, but... We will see. Uh, I might just leave it as Manu being the, the primary teacher for now, just so that the other teachers can focus on different things. Right, we've got Ernest, but what is your true name, Ernest? Everyone, please say hello to Terminal Serenit. Can we have Serenity? No? Let's uh, remove the space. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we are. Did, did I did I miss that on one of the other names? I I, I just don't assume that there's going to be a limit, honestly. Uh, let's have a look at your spells. You've got water and earth, a decent amount, so you'll be a decent cleaner and decent decent assembler and a, uh, a decent constructor. Not a bad spread of skills, honestly. Uh, right, you want to dance with friends. You want to dance with at least six other people, and this will give you uh, will earn loves dining rooms and mess halls. So you'll gain extra conviction when you're working there. Uh, rested learning, cast while rested at a learning stone 25 times in a basic or intermediate classroom. This will give you some more power and max HP. And then working on the lanterns as well. You'll gain five conviction for four hours after a quilt task. Not exactly the best spread of things, if I can be perfectly honest with you. Uh, right, who's the next person that we're going to bring in? Uh, let's, you know what, let's go for a dark one, sure. Let's, uh, let's tempt the fates. Heather, you can come down and help Manu out here as well. Let's see if we can't get yet another student, please and indeed thank you. And please everyone, say a warm welcome to Magres Polar Bear. Let's have a look at you, Magres Polar Bear. What are your skills? You're obviously high in dark, and then you've got nature and air. Interesting mix. Uh, you've got Mess Hall Diner. Eat in a mess hall. That'll be easy to get, and it'll give you boosted HP and power. You've also got Bliss Seeker. Go two days in a row at or above 70 conviction. That'll give you two speed, two power, and ten max mana. And finally, wow, everyone wants to recharge bloody mana lanterns for some reason. I have no idea why but all right uh, i guess hello hello we'll go ahead and uh, get involved then i suppose we'll see what else we can do but i really would mostly like uh aquatami to manage to get all that sorted out so that we can actually hire them now then with all of the research that we've been doing we've unlocked a couple new things we now do have the alchemist station so that is going to give us the opportunity to start working on getting up a uh, a higher tier wand so i think this is very much what we're going to be working on is there a specific room for this let's have a look in terms of the workshops uh atelier uh fine kitchen painting studio sculpting studio no i don't think there is so this is just going to be a basic workshop then uh, and a basic workshop is a rather easy one to put together so this is just going to require lofted uh, one or more research or crafting stations uh, okay, i mean we could have it in here and this would turn this in well actually would that allow medical beds though uh can't have any kind of bed fair enough uh, well, given that, then, it's time for us to expand out our school a little bit. Let's take you up to about here, I'm thinking. Let's make this a nice tall room, uh, I think. Sure, we'll bring it all the way up to this point. We'll uh, take these walls up as well. Something like that. Take this wall up as well. And then we'll run a uh, floor right the way across. 
blocked by a small window. Of course it's blocked by a small window. Let's move that small window down. That can uh, go about there. Oh, okay, it's gone. Uh, can I have a wall back, please? Please and thank you. There we go. Oh, there, there. Ha ha! Now that should work. One hopes. We'll see. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a couple more things popped in here. Medical beds, for example. I do worry about that. Since we can potentially have four people wounded at a time, I think having four medical beds makes sense. And certainly that will help out a, a little bit as well. Right, are we... Oh, good. That lantern is getting way down there. Let's go over there. Refill it now. Don't wait for it to be all the way down because you will refill it back to full. So if I can get in there frequently, then we can immediately hire... Aquatami, there we are. Thank you very much indeed. This is going to allow them to to learn so much faster, because, and also just building things around here is going to be so much faster too. Right, we've learned pick me ups. Fantastic work. Let's go ahead and open research because we're going to want to grab a couple of things. Now I can learn the fire wand too, the water wand too, and the air wand too. But realistically, I'm not actually going for these things for that reason. Uh, we could also grab some of the uh, throwable potions for combat. But uh, I want the ability to grow plants. That is going to be a big thing. Uh, is there a way for me to cure? Oh, there isn't a way for me to cure research. That actually is a little bit disappointing, but all right. Uh, we'll just get that done then for now. Let's see what they can do as quickly as they can do it. My lord, they're going up in skills really fast. I am very happy with this. Let's have a look at... Wow! Okay, you've managed to grab six skill levels. Actually, I think this will start at one, but that is that is bonkers. One whole full day of learning has done you all a massive service. Well done, indeed. Yeah, go and, go and have a bit of a, a bit of a chill out there. That was, that was very well done, all of you. Aquatami has finally got the last recharging task, and we've also finished out this room. Let's check in on Magres Polar Bear, though, and uh, also Terminal Serenity. We've got two out of the the ten mess hall eaters there. Terminal Serenity has just completed the bronze medal for Stalwart Wisdom, so... I'm going to have to bear that in mind in the future. There are some things that they have to do before they're maxed out, and they really need to focus on that. And in fact, that's probably going to be true of keeping their uh, conviction nice and high. We want that to happen before they've gone too long between learning skills and, and so on and so forth. So uh, maybe once they hit max skills and they switch over to the very high recreation uh, work type, that will help out a little bit. In fact, we can even further improve that by doing something like this. They are are not going to go very long without a little bit of a break. So, uh, you know what? It, it, in the beginning, it was a whole unpaid intern thing, but yeah, yeah, you get a lot of time off. You get a lot of time to just chill out and dance with your friends. I think that's uh, that's more than fair, frankly. Uh, we have expanded this area out, but we do need to build up walls and put a roof over this and turn this into possibly our greenhouse or maybe into a uh, workshop for the alchemy area, but we could easily just put that down here, though the only thing with that is that we wouldn't be able to have a workshop. We could do alchemy there, but we would miss out on the 25% uh, crafting rate, as this area is not lofted. We do need to make a place that is specifically lofted for that purpose and I think maybe we could just build out a little bit in this direction perhaps and uh, have a bit of a, an area over there uh, for our greenhouse and then maybe to this side we could have a, a new area for a workshop but that's all gonna have to wait until the next episode I'm afraid as we have more than run out of time for this one I do hope you are enjoying the series though it was very sad to say goodbye to a couple of our students but it was necessary I am I am a little bit uh it was very uh, bittersweet saying goodbye to plumbers back but they got to graduate with full honors but the last thing that we're going to do in this episode is we are finally going to hire staff aquatami welcome let's get you uh, brought over we're going to bring manu along they will get left out oh okay let's have a look what's that what's that do minus 15 conviction my lord people don't like coming to a, a hiring ceremony um, oh, there's not enough room near the sigil. <laughs> well, okay, we can't, we can't not do this after setting all of this up. Okay, let's, uh, let's shimmy some things around. It's gonna look awful for a moment, but shh, it's fine. <laughs>
Okay, we've moved everything around and hopefully this is now going to work. Please work for us. Yes, it finally. I would have been so sad if we couldn't hire Aquatami at the end of this. Okay, Aquatami, you're going to move up in the world. You're going to immediately graduate and then be rehired as a member of the faculty. Begin the ritual. Let's get this on the go. Ah, oh, marvelous. We're expanding out our staff. This is a huge thing for us. Oh my god, it looks quite violent. Uh, I'm sure it's okay, though. It probably, it's a lovely feeling, actually, you know, all of that raw power. Oh my good lord. Graduation has been hard on you. Uh, okay, well then, Aquatami, let's have a quick look at you. Oh my good lord. All right, fair enough. Uh, I, you know what? Sure. All right. Growing up as uh, vivified is a, is a much more harrowing experience than it might be for humans, but I'm sure we will make do. But that is really going to be it for me. I have pushed this over long. I really do hope you have enjoyed this episode, though, and will be joining me for the next. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.